Hey guys, welcome to Shiny Saturday. It is time for Shiny Saturday, everybody. Let's get it popping. Today's video is actually another request by Summer T. So Summer T, thank you for your request as well. And uh, they requested that I react to a song, two songs, but I'm gonna react to one of them today and then another one probably next week. So the one I'm reacting to this time is Shiny's Password. Yes, Shiny's Password, full version. This is a Japanese song, so I'm probably going to have to do what I did last time and make the screen blocked a little bit so that you can't see, put an overlay there uh, so I don't get in trouble for that. Other than that, I think we'll be good. We'll be good. We'll be fine. Thank you for your request, Summer Tea. Without any further ado, let's get it popping. If you're new to the channel, you love the content, but you're not yet subscribed, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel Moonlight Antonio, where we give you reactions, K-pop, and inspiration from under the beautiful moonlight, as well as hitting that bell for notifications so that you won't miss a single upload. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. All right, uh, five minutes long, so we're gonna jump right into it, all right? Shiny's Password Live, let's go. It even starts out cool. Look at that stage. I love the lights. Ooh. I can tell this is during the everybody era because Onu has blonde hair as well. Ooh, I love the. It's 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 not it's ballady, but it's not ballady. It's not. I I don't know how to explain. It's very like. Japanese like one thing about Chinese Japanese songs they're very Japanese like like it's not just they're singing Japanese it's like the style of music is kind of Japanese I like that I love that I love that. The music is really dope. Woo! I love that weird. I love how weird it is. I love that. I love that, y'all. I love the weird, the, it's weird and I love it. It's strange. Oh. 
It's very Japanese, like J-pop. This is J-pop right here. Techno J Japan, techno J-pop. That's what it is. Best fun, best fun. I love the, the music though. Wow. The music is really dope. And the lights. <sighs> this looks like literally the biggest stadium I've ever seen. Is this Tokyo Dome, guys? I don't know where this is. Is this Tokyo Dome? This is huge. God, that's huge. Dude, that I wish that I came up with that melody. That is a beautiful melody. Beautiful melody. Wow. It's a simple song. There's not really much to it. But it's the darker, kind of mysterious, chic music that makes it so... It's so good. It's so good. I, mm, password is like Orgel. If you've ever heard of heard Orgel, and I, I believe I reacted to Orgel before. I may, I don't know, I, did I react to Orgel? Y'all know what I'm talking about, right, Orgel? Song that was on the Misconceptions album that had a very dark kind of mystique sound to it. This has a similar kind of style, except it's more like techno, not dubstep. It's like just techno, techno K-pop. That's what it is. It's te techno J-pop. There we go. Shiny, they don't just sing in Japanese and then, oh, it's a J-pop song. No, no, no. The music is different. The feel is different. There's more live percussions in these songs than in the K-pop songs. There's a lot going on that's very different. A lot of guitar and all that stuff it implemented into these J-pop sounding songs that Shiny has been putting out over the years. I like that because you can get a clear distinction of the music style that goes beyond just, oh, they're speaking Japanese, right? It's beyond the language. It's the sound. That's the beauty of Shiny. They know how to capture the sound of Japanese pop. It's not enough to just sing Japanese lyrics in Japanese. The style changes. And I like that a lot. Shiny. Mm. And this song is so good. Listen, they're not like doing a bunch of crazy vocal stuff in this song. Because guess what? They don't need to. The song has a very dark mystique to it. I think if they did do anything like a super high note or something like that, would it be cool? Sure. But I think the feel of the song is not so much the grandiosity of vocal power. It's the mystique of the song. So they keep it surface level. And when I say surface level, I say that in the best way, not like, oh, it's surface level. What do you mean surface level? No, I'm not. That's not in, not an insult, not an insult. They keep it surface level with the vocals. And the music and the, the, it's like a, how do I say this? The, the part that Onu does with the music is like a, the anthem of the song. That part is the anthem sound, the distinct sound that permeates throughout this song. And I love it. I love it. All of that makes the song what it is. And I like every bit of it really like it's it's incredible and again this is, is a lot of aqua blue color i'm seeing in the audience i love how they show how big and massive this dome is 
I think this is Tokyo Dome, but I could totally be wrong about that. Uh, it says Shiny World 2013, but it doesn't say Tokyo Dome. It doesn't say Tokyo Dome. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Japan Arena. So, I don't know how many showels, how many of you have been to the Tokyo Dome and maybe have been to Japan Arena. Is the Tokyo Dome bigger than Japan Arena? Because this, this arena, Japan Arena, is huge. Just at the end of the MV, you see a circular motion going on with the Japan Arena. And man, is it massive. I mean massive. That's huge. It's beautiful. I love how in sync and in step the Shiny members are in this song. And the, the green lights really help give that massive gravitas to the song. It really does. And the green is also a really good color for like the majesty and mystique of the song itself. They really help. Like how the lights are doing all of the dancing. This is not a dance song. The lights are doing the dancing. The members are doing the singing. I love the change of roles the lights take on in this song with the members. It's like an exchange. The members, all they do is walk and sing in this song. But the lights do all the dancing and the all of the, the effects. They they help. It's brilliant. Ah, shiny. Beautiful. I'm glad that I was requested this song. This is amazing. And it, it goes to show that Shiny is capable of so many amazing things. Not just then, but now. And I am longing for the moment when Onu returns to the fold because I feel like Onu's gonna come back with uh with a fire. Uh-oh. I can't wait. I can't wait. I think everybody in their mama is waiting for all of Shiny to be one again. Sit and show off that masterful performance to end all K-pop careers. Uh, <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting. It's going to happen. Watch. Brilliant execution. Brilliant in, in everything. The vocals were perfect. Perfect. Everyone sang Key's little... I can't remember what his uh, his his vocal thing was, but it was perfect. He hit the notes perfectly. Um, I heard like backing vocals, but Key's vocals were literally right, right there with the backing vocals. Literally right there. Not one moment where he got off key or anything like that. It was almost in sync. That's how good that was. Minho, brilliant vocals. Uh, like I said, Minho gets more spotlight when it comes to Japanese songs than he does in Korean songs. When it comes to singing, he, he does an amazing job with that. Wow. Onu doing the, the signature. <laughs> Love it. Taemin, of course, brilliant as always. And Jonghyun, of course. I can't, A, hey, A. Hey, that's my boy. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. That's all I gotta say. Uh, brilliant. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content from your boy. And until next time, it'll be your boy Aves signing out. Peace. Love you guys. Cue that outro. Bye.